Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and another daily dose of Brotato. Today we are farming and we are going to just get as much harvesting as we can. I think it might be funny. Um, I either want to go stick or torch. I think I'm actually going to try torch. Just to test it out because I haven't really used it. It's like it obviously doesn't it's an elemental weapon. It doesn't really do any damage on the hit, but the burning is good. And it has kind of a nice, nice sweeping arc to it, so. So that's nice. All right, so we're going to take all the harvesting we can. Um, farmer, you get 10% harvesting at the end of every round instead of five. You start with 30, but you get half the materials dropped from enemies and your damage monitor down. So we need harvesting to make up for that. I'm actually going to take taser. You know, normally we kind of just like jam one weapon, but maybe we just mix it up. Like I won't. I want to make this work and I want a lot of harvesting and see how high we can get that number. And Taser is actually a decent combo with Torch since you have to wait for enemies to burn. Like I'm not doing any upfront damage. We're just going to take Harvesting and Elemental Damage, I guess. And then I'll take another Taser. I'm not going to take any Harvesting down until maybe like super late in the run. All right, I guess we're doing Tasers now. Taser Torch combo something. I don't know. Something I've seen a lot of other YouTubers, myself included, do is you just kind of you just kind of focus on one weapon. Unless you're one of the characters that are unless you're the character who specifies in having different weapons. Um, maybe that's just a product of who literally who I'm watching and not uh, like the whole of YouTubers this might be much of a generalization. But I do think that most people try to focus on having six of one weapon too much compared to splitting it up and using complementary weapons. And I think these two are probably like meant for each other. Taser is pretty good with the slow and Torch is good with the burning. So it's, it's only wave four, so I'm having a hard time telling like where we stand right now as a build. Uh, we've kind of gotten a decent amount of elemental damage already i think seven by wave five shops pretty good take a tree take another taser we're gonna say we get the little frog little frog next turn probably should have gotten it this turn actually boiling water boiling water is good we actually have decent damage oddly enough Okay, it's going pretty, pretty decently. They're starting to push in a little bit, but that's almost expected. Also, where are all my trees? I definitely took tree. Uh, we we'll take the armor. Maybe I should be rolling harder for 
harvesting. I mean, I'm not going to pass up on all those weapons, but still. So being an elemental build, it gives us a couple things we can do. Um, one is take the uh, burning items. Hey, this I think it's called Scared Sausage. It's the one we already got one of. Yeah, the Scared Sausage and the Snake. I didn't realize we grabbed a Snake too. But it's a way to make your tasers do quite a bit more damage over time. The, uh... <laughs> the torch part of this run kind of fell apart immediately, but whatever. It's, it's what we were given. Part of roguelikes is the variety each round. I will take 10% attack speed. That seems good. I'd really like, uh... I was going to say I'd really like some harvesting. But it's hard for me to justify not taking. Um, a purple upgrade over that. Like, what am I supposed to do there? We'll take all this for <laughs> all this furniture. No, I'll take all the fertilizer, though. Upgrade taser. Scar on wave 8 is probably fine. If it gets me a, an extra level throughout the whole run, it'd be worth it. This kind of makes me wonder if Torch is just really bad. I guess it depends on if you get the Scared Sausage, because... If you do, isn't Taser just better? It does the same thing. Like, if you get four of them, maybe 100% chance to apply the burning effect. Maybe, maybe a Legendary Torch does a bit more burning. Maybe it does it faster. We'll have to see. How much, uh, harvesting do we have now? We have a lot? Okay. A lot is the answer. Um... I think here we're supposed to take a look. This kind of sucks. And by sucks, I mean it's good, but I'm just be being complainy little baby. <laughs> Everything about that was great. We have very little max HP right now. Our defenses are our defenses are bad. Like actively terrible. Looks like we found all those trees that were missing from the other earlier waves, though. Just gonna scoot right on through. I really thought I had completed a run with this guy already. It seemed like it'd be not too difficult, but turns out I hadn't. Are you guys ready for the losses to come back when I get to five? Difficulty five. I know in my earlier videos, there were definitely some deaths. All right. Um, Handle is a minus 10% enemies, but we don't care about enemies. We just care about this harvesting number. We don't have any crit. Mm. Is hunting trophy good enough to start buying crit? Probably. Probably. But we'll leave it locked and then go from there. It 
If we had had 10% crit going into this wave, I 100% would have taken it. 100%. But only 3%, like... We're gonna get a couple crits throughout this wave, and then they'd have a 50% chance of... giving us an extra material. That doesn't seem very good. We have to keep moving, but it seems like the damage is really um, enough if they start burning. That might have killed me if I got hit by all three of those guys. <laughs> Man, you really, you really feel the effects of um, the this class and the minus fifty percent resources. Because that wave is normally um, just all <laughs> all the resources you can get. All the income. 10 harvesting, yes. Okay. Taser. We're going to speculative buy the hunting trophy. I don't know that that's right at all but the potential is very strong and it's not that hard to get to like 25% grit and then you're just kind of you know you're getting so much free economy it's only wave 10 Like, that may have been the earliest I've ever seen a hunting trophy. In my, what, 80 hours of this game or whatever it's been. 80 hours of the full, of the early access release, not the demo. Okay, this is a good sign. Uh, a lot of the times after wave 9, if you're struggling here you kind of uh you kind of just know from how that wave goes how the rest of your build is stacking up i don't know what i'm trying to say i can't speak right now um anyway let's just buy fertilizer and go on from there i will take a campfire Thunderstorm is tempting. Hitting an enemy spawns two that deal 14. Problem is our damage isn't really high, so I think we're getting most of it from burning. Scare sauce is just significantly less burning than the torch for what it's worth. So I don't think we want the Thunder Blade, even though it's probably my favorite weapon in the game. It's basically just a bigger lightning dagger, but I like enchanted swords. I don't know. It's always been a thing in every game I play. Ice sword, wind sword, whatever. Throw something on it. It's my preferred weapon. That might be a little, uh, probably generic, I'd say. Not an uncommon opinion. Maybe a little boring, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, we're kind of taking a ton of damage. Got me a little worried. That was a nice dodge. Hog does nothing. Small magazine does nothing. Take the HP. Take the blindfold. Take the campfire. We will do that. Well, now we're going to take a second hunting trophy. That's kind of silly. I'm going to take this B too. I'll take another B. 
I'm gonna take all the bees. We got three already. All right, we have, th we have two hunting trophies now, which is um, normally one of the dumbest things you can do. We don't have quite enough crit yet for it to be absolutely broken, but if we can, um, if we can snag like an epic crit upgrade from this next level up, that might, that would be huge. You know what really sucks? Heartburn. Just getting worse and worse as I get older. If I ever like stop talking for a second, it's probably that. Uh, I like a cute monkey. Who doesn't like a cute monkey? I'll take the harvesting, sure. I want the sledgehammer so bad. But we can't. That's not what we're doing. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Um, we're not gonna take a another bowler hat because of negative crit since we have two um hunting trophies. We have just enough for a potato and a taser. Seems good. Potato is just a good item. It's a little pricey, but it's it's got it all. It'd be really funny if, um, in my opinion, he added corn as an item. And just underneath it just said, it's got the juice. And then I don't know what it would do. Maybe give you some HP and harvesting because it's lumpy. We start referencing nonsense TikToks and and whatnot in the game. I assume that's legal. We're we're surviving. Oh, we have to take three armor here. I don't really want to, but I have to. Hey, some harvesting. Hey, purple taser. Hey, a wheelbarrow. Mm. Torch kind of makes sense. Not taking negative harvesting. I will take alien magic next round. And... I think we're past metal detector. Okay. This is not as much harvesting as I had imagined. I was thinking to be at like 500 by now. Conservatively, but. It's okay. We'll try that later. I think after I danger level five clear everyone, we're going to start going for some absolute nonsense. Like, not trying to win the runs, but just trying to hit benchmark stat goals that potentially would break the game. But also, if it didn't work, you just you probably just lose because you're sacrificing so much survivability and stats that you actually need to win. Like, I think right now, if you take enough armor and enough uh, HP regen, you basically can win with any class on this difficulty for sure uh let's take speed we we do need some speed like see here we have to spend 110 on metal plate but it's so good this is disgusting piggy banks here now 
We have no life steal, so we can just take this. Range is actually kind of good on Taser. I I normally think range is the least important stat in the game. It's not it's not that it does nothing because it it obviously affects range weapons, but it has a, a significant effect on melee weapons as well as far as. Yes, you have increased range, but then you have slower cooldown, so we can have get negative range to attack faster and have smaller range and there's a sweet spot for every weapon. Obviously. But for the most part, um, on basic, on most every weapon, you can uh, ignore range completely. Like you might get it as a side upgrade or whatever on an item. And you can use it as a dump stat and you will not feel it at all. Or at least that's been my experience. However, it kind of feels like with the taser that more range is quite strong. Um, can't get this one. We're going to take a wheelbarrow, though. There's a torch. Potato thrower. Wait, why does it have life steal on it? Oh, because we don't have any life steal, right? It's supposed to have a, a little bit of life steal because I think that's the point of this weapon. I will reroll one more time. Uh, coffee's good. More, more taser shots, the better. Did I use Taser in my last video, or was that the one prior to this? I don't actually remember. Kind of record in batches. Uh, I don't want to use the same weapon too many times in a row. I feel like that would be ba bad for you guys. I don't want y'all to get bored of me using the same weapon over and over, but this kind of worked this time. Actually, maybe should have just sold the torch. If I was trying to get as much harvesting, but if I was trying to get as much harvesting as possible, right? You just take hands. I hate this. Okay, crit. I wonder if I've missed some crit because I wasn't thinking about it for a moment or two. Is it 50% or 25% down from farmers? 25. So this should be two or it rounds. I don't know. Um, coupon is early enough. Energy bracelets kind of exactly what we want. Five hundred harvesting now. It would apply 50 at the end of the rain at the end of the uh the end of the wave and not range. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my brain sometimes. It's actually kinda cold right now. For some reason it feels like the AC is on. I don't know why, because it's not particularly hot outside right now so I'm kind of confused I'm gonna go turn it off at the end of this recording but I'm I opted to just push through it instead of uh, simply pausing the game because I am incredibly lazy apparently look at all these materials we're getting from hunting trophy that is from Hunting Trophy. Um, dodge? Blindfold? Whetstone's almost enough to bring us back. 
let's do legendary to see what, what what's it like it's 29 by 8 pretty good pretty good little frog vest um trees on 18 probably not Bowler hat, probably not. Cake, though. Take cake. So we got a little bit of crit. Not as much as we wanted, but... It's okay. One of the... At least having one of the broken items is good. I'm very curious what the next beta patch is going to bring, balance-wise. Definitely seems like there's certain items that are just too... not. There's a couple items that are stronger than the rest by a decent margin. I think it's fun to have the build round items, though, so I don't know how much you want to cut back on it. Or if you just want to... I personally like just... Um, buffing weak things, uh, underpowered items and stuff like that, or characters in games, rather than nerfing everything to a certain level. I know sometimes you have to, but normally it feels pretty bad, so you don't really want to do that. This all sucked. Um, all right, this is wave 19. Oh, give me that crit chance. Earlier, that Lucky Charm would have been really good, but we're past that now. Hey, Taser. Explosive turrets, and no. We have enough speed we can take it. It's expensive, though. All right, we're getting some serious crit here. 5% lifesteal, 10, 20% dodge. I mean... We lose a little bit of damage, but actually going positive in lifesteal and getting the 57% dodge seems kind of worth it. Especially considering how much uh, our tasers hit since they pierce now. Like, we definitely don't do a ton of damage. I just realized, I literally just realized, it shows you the Thief's Knife image whenever Hunting Trophy goes off. That's crazy that I never noticed that. Because I assume it goes off when you hit, when you uh, get the bonus materials with Thief's Knife too. Insane. Insane. All right, so we get a thousand. Um, we're just gonna take HP regen, and this is like really depressing. I don't think we're killing the bosses. Here's. Pierce again? Two Pierce? Um, yeah, blindfold seems fine. Now we take Whetstone. All of a sudden, we're heavily lifesteal. We took a lot of minus speed there. I don't know if that's great. We're pretty slow. But... We actually do have enough damage to kill him? Obviously, this would not fly on five. This is uh, a little little on the weak side 
maybe. But I also don't think I would have been like grabbing random harvesting on 15. If I was trying to do five, we get, I got a little leeway. A little bit of fun, a little bit of fun time here on difficulty one. A little bit of goofs. Maybe we won't kill him. I don't know. Oh, we got a shotgun and more. We gotta get closer. Whoop. Too much dodge for you, sir. Too much. Oh, maybe it wasn't shotgunning. Maybe it was actually the torch. The burning. That makes sense. Are we just gonna get him? Oh, with one second left? Two seconds left? That's crazy. We got wheat. It's almost like corn. Minus negative elemental damage. That's ironic. Um, four melee, two ranged, and ten harvesting is not bad stats. Normally you wouldn't split those two on a build, but... I wouldn't say no to this pretty early either. All right. Well, we are down to one left in this row, and then we're only got a few down on the bottom. Thanks for watching. Next time we're doing the speedy thing, which should be an easy and fun run. I look forward to that. All right. Y'all have a great day. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to see more potato. My name is Jeff, and I'll see you later.